This is how to make a golf video like a bouse. Before we start though, it's important to know I knew none of this stuff before I made the first video on how to break 90 in November 2017. That video took 10 days to edit. I have no background in any form of media except transferring data into usable stuff for C-level execs. I used Google and YouTube search to learn all this stuff. Not every secret is in this video, but more than enough to get you started. If you ever have a question, YouTube and Google are superb sources of information. Any questions you have regarding things you don't have or can't afford or whatever, use your common sense and proceed. You don't need to be a knobhead and get the latest Panasonic camera that shoots in resolution that no editing program supports and you don't need a gimbal to hold the camera steady. You don't need any of that fancy horse <laughs> Accumulating fancy stuff before you have a video is just a way to avoid doing something. Okay, let's begin. But before we do, please understand your first videos will suck badly. You will need one computer that doesn't suck. My first Windows computer sucked and rendering a video took nearly two hours. I upgraded that to an Asus VivoBook and it took 20 minutes. Now I use a MacBook Pro and it takes less than 20 minutes. One phone camera which doesn't suck. No one wants to watch stuff that was filmed with a potato. One editing program. I used Coral Video Studio for the first 143 videos. It's cheap and simple and extremely easy to use. One tripod to hold your camera. It needs an attachment that can hold a mobile phone. One power bank battery with the cable to charge your phone while you play. One duct tape roll to tape the battery onto the tripod. Then the one item everyone asked me for, the Shot Tracer app through the Apple Store or Google Play. Yes, it's literally called Shot Tracer app. I found it through Google. One optional external microphone with a dead cat for windy days. One Microsoft Office Suite. One Adobe Suite. If your equipment sucks, save for new equipment or use what you have. Links for the products are in the description below and I will earn a commission on it if you buy through those links. Because I am the boss. Step 1. Film the round. <laughs> This entails setting the tripod up behind you for every shot and pressing record. Comfortable round with Matt. You'll have to fiddle with the legs and the height of the camera and each leg to get a stable shot. Press record before each shot and then go hit the shot. Then press stop. Carry the tripod to the next shot and repeat. Tell the camera what distance and club you hit to listen to later again. 121 meters, nine on. This will take four to five hours. Step two, insert shot tracer into the videos on every single long shot. This is done after the round. It's finicky and it crashes a lot. One round of 18 holes will take you about two hours to add all the shot traces. Please do not complain that it doesn't trace the shot to the finish. It's a $10 app or something like that. Not the $500,000 equipment on the PGA Tour. Step 3. Transfer all the files to your computer. This should take about 20 minutes. Step 4. Create the shell of the video by transferring all files into Coral Video Studio. Cut the clips and insert the 11 second shot tracer clips in between the original clips. Add transitions and then save the file. This can take up to 2 hours per 18 holes. Step 5. Create the overlays in PowerPoint through an image that you create yourself with multiple layers. Insert the distance, club and hole, and par number. Save each one as an individual picture. This should take you about an hour. Step 6. Write a script, and once the voiceover is done, put it into Adobe Audition. Edit the sound to be smooth and delicious. Step 7. Insert the voiceover and cut it in the right places, then insert overlays into the Coral Video Studio file and cut the clips down even more. Step 8. Create a map tracer for T-shots to show the overview of the hole. Well, this one took a lot of time for me to figure out, so I'll let you Google and figure it out yourself. You'll need Adobe After Effects. This will take an hour and a half. Step 9. Insert the map into the Coral Video Studio file. This will take about an hour. Step 10. Add 
add music. This takes 30 minutes. Step 11, add graphics that you can create in PowerPoint as well. This can take anywhere between 15 minutes and two hours, depending on the depth of information. Step 12, render the video. Step 13, make a thumbnail, write a description and upload the video. I do not film us fixing divots or pitch marks. A lot of people comment about us not fixing stuff on the course. The video files are already 11 to 15 gigabytes per 18 holes. To film and insert the clips of us or our caddies, pouring sand into divots and fixing pitch marks would not only waste storage space, but it would make my videos fucking boring. Get a life.